One of the leading engineers on the Mbuzi Interchange project, Joy Makumbe, says resettlement issues are posing hurdles to the smooth running of the project. The, 800, the 88 million US dollar project was started in September last year and was set for completion end of last year but faced some delays. Currently, the project stands at 55% completion and is set to be completed by the end of July. It is one of the signature projects of this government and authorities are doing everything to ensure that nothing stands in its way. But the latest challenge has been that of settlement. People's houses that are in the way uh, of uh, development. So that takes time and uh, that is what uh, government has been doing and uh, where people have been relocated uh, works uh, have started. And I think you will remember uh, the Honourable Minister did tour uh, that project some few weeks back and uh, the contractors there on site uh, have given a date of uh, 31st of July as a uh, completion given any other hurdles that uh, they've faced in the past and looking at the future. Transport Minister Felix Mona is on record saying they have been engaging Treasury on funds for compensation. Government says it will build houses and move the affected families to Headcliffe. Those who were settled illegally will not be compensated. Hatina, we are mobilizing. We communicate with Treasury if there are properties to be compensated. As we speak, out of the 52, 42 have been uh, compensated partially and fully. And uh, in terms of the figures, that's about 14.8 million, which has been paid, and which is outstanding is 14.9 million. Finance Minister Mtuli Ngube said such hurdles are expected on projects of that magnitude. I don't know if there are delays. Mm. We're just encountering, you know, hurdles that are normal in a construction project of that size. Relocation seems to be only but one of the various obstructions to the completion of the project. And also my humble plea to the people of Zimbabwe that yes, in terms of the progress, it might not be as quick as you may anticipate, but we must be here with us that we are using resources. If we were in other countries, you would see that we would get cheap funding, concessional loans from uh, other world banks or, or from other um, institutions. But alas, we are using our funds, which are also having competing effects in terms of the uh, budgetary processes. This has been a big test for the transport ministry. And if they can pull this one, they can afford to take on another big project. I'm Michelle Kanguru for ZTN Prime in Harare. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo pa ZTN Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.